It's noon in paradise. Yesterday was warm near 60, now today back at 30. Very sporadic. I have a couple little goals today. I need to go and get oil for the three series. I thought I had some, I don't, so I'm gonna run over to AutoZone. I can't decide AutoZone or Walmart. I think I went to AutoZone the first time I bought it. Walmart the second, and I was pissed that I went to Walmart the second time because it was a couple dollars more, surprisingly. So I'll probably just go to AutoZone this time. And uh, I don't know if I'll get just one liter or the five liter jug, or if I do two of the five liter jugs, then I'm set up for the next oil change, which will be this spring. If I even do another one, I'll probably just buy one five liter. Hold on. Need some hands. Um, and then I need to go over to the Home Depot and look at air compressors. I asked Joe what he had, and he's got this really nice Husky unit. So I'm just going to head over there and see what the competition is compared to Amazon. All these uh, pre compressors on Amazon seem to be the little 12 volt ones that you plug into your auxiliary power port in the car. And I, I don't like those. Those are nice that they're portable. You can stick it in your car, and as long as you have the car, then you can power the compressor. But I want one that plugs into the wall that's more powerful, bigger tank or whatever. It's just more powerful and, and can work faster. Because I, I have already one of those really little ones that you can stick in your trunk. And it works, but on 275 section tires and 18 inch wheels, they take forever to fill that capacity with air, especially 40 pounds or 45 pounds. So I'll go look at something more robust. Someday I would love to have like a huge tank in the basement and then run compressed airlines out to the garage and be able to use pneumatic tools and all that stuff, but I'm not about to set that up here. So, wish me luck today. So I don't know what, where that uh, piece of sod came from. My yard does not look torn up. It doesn't look great, but it isn't torn up by snow plows. So maybe that got skinned off of somebody else's lawn and then pushed all the way down and rolled up into mine with the snow. Dispose of it in the spring. Gotta do an update on this car. Gotta clean my lens too. Look at that, it's disgusting. Uh, but we're up to 231, 292 in here. And still no lights on there. The oil light, as I said in the comment, only comes on when you shut the car off sometimes. And then the yellow light comes on for a few seconds. And per the owner's manual, that just states that it's low, check oil and add as necessary, which is usually around a liter or less. Well, I think this will do it. Got the 80 gallon. Um, 90 PSI, no, I'm just kidding. So that'd be pretty freaking awesome to have that, wouldn't it? All right, we got one. It's a Cobalt, so that means I went to Lowe's instead of Home Depot. I was right there anyways. I stopped at Gitco to get free air in the 3 Series and was at Lowe's. So I went into Lowe's and started off with looking at the big, like, what was that, 80 gallon or some shit? And then went down the line and this was the next to bottom end they had. The bottom end was a 12 volt only little cigarette lighter adapter like this. That's the one I have, which works. It just takes forever. It's really slow and it's cheap plastic. Uh, so this was the next step up. This one's cool because you can either plug it into the wall, use at home or use on the road, 12 volt or 120 volt. Got a digital backlit display, play pause button for the compressor, and then you adjust your target pressure versus what it actually is. It's running right now, as you can hear. And then all the accessories are in a little trap door on top. So you can blow up, you know, your airbed, your football, and your blow up doll all at once. And it's kind of hard to open because it's new. There's all the accessories. And I'm putting the tires up about 46 pounds. The door is down so you can't see, but I did fix the parking brake on the 330. Um, I tightened down each nut inside the car like 10 or 15, not full turns, probably 15 quarter turns, or 15 to, so only a couple turns on the nuts, but now by three or four clicks up, it is like locked solid. I could probably drift it on snow. So parking brake's fixed. So got a bunch of little stuff done today. Um, topped off the oil in the 330, bought, ended up buying five quarts of that over at AutoZone. It was uh, $31, I think, they had it on sale. So I'm glad I went there. I got the air compressor at Lowe's. Um, I got gas. Did the tires on the Accord, the M5, and the 330 with the new compressor, which I really like. It auto start stops, or it auto stops once it reaches the uh, set pressure. I think I, I did show you that earlier today. Um, watched Cavaliers at Indiana. Got a good win. Kyle Corver was freaking 8 of 9 from 3. Any of you guys from Atlanta? You guys had him a couple years. What a phenomenal three-point shooters, number seven all-time as of tonight. 
So anyways, it's been snowing, um, just what we needed. It's cold, like 25, and I don't know, we've probably got about an inch. I don't think the streets are covered, but the yard and the sidewalk is. Yeah, the street kind of is. But uh, I'm dead, so I'm gonna go to bed tomorrow. What do we got? Oh, we went swimming today. I went swimming with Razvan. That was fun. It's been quite a while since I've done that, but uh, I'm gonna go to bed. So tomorrow, I don't think we'll do swimming again. We did that today. I don't know what's up tomorrow. I'll let you know that. Good night.